Moving on to the next example, we have to find the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x, where f of x is this piecewise function, where the y values are x minus 1 when x is not equal to 3, and when the y value is 5 when x does equal 3. Now, my suggestion is whenever you get a limit with a piecewise function, if possible, always graph the piecewise function first so you can see everything visually. So then taking that piecewise function and graphing it, we have this line x minus 1 that's defined for every x value other than 3. So at an x value of 3, there's this hole here. But in the function at an x value of 3, the function is defined at a y value of 5. So at an x value of 3, there's this like point here at a y value of 5. And any x value other than 3, the function is defined by this line. So this graph here represents this piecewise function. And now that we have the graph of f of x, we can proceed to find the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x. And to find the limit as x approaches a certain value, we have to approach that value from both the left side and the right side. So specifically, if we find the limit as x approaches 3 from the negative side of this function, well, as we're approaching an x value of 3 on this function, the y value is approaching 2 because this hole here on this line occurs at a coordinate 3 and 2 because if we plug in 3 for this line here, x minus 1, we would get a y value of 2. So as x is approaching 3, the y value is approaching 2. At an x value 3, the function is defined by 5, but as we approach 3, it's not approaching 5. It's approaching this y value of 2. And because limits only deal with the value that the function is approaching, we say that this limit is going to equal 2. Similarly, if we approach an x value of 3 from the right side, the y value that the function is approaching is this 2 here. It's not this 5. The 5 is defined at an x value 3, but as we approach 3 from the right side, the y value is approaching 2. So we say that this limit is also equal to 2. So because the function, as we approach 3 from both the left side and the right side, is approaching that same value of 2, we can conclude that the limit as x approaches 3 in general of this function is also equal to 2. So that's our final answer. So a bit of a unique scenario. Notice how f of 3 is equal to 5 because at an x value of 3, this function is defined at a y value of 5. But the limit as x approaches 3 of this function is equal to 2 because it's all about the y value that the function is approaching as we approach that x value of 3. From both sides, the y value is going to be 2. But it's defined, the function is defined at a y value of 5. So just be careful with that. The function can be defined at a different y value than what the limit of that function is at that same x value. So this is a scenario where that would happen, and it would pretty much usually only happen with piecewise functions. So my suggestion is always take a piecewise function and graph it out so you can see it visually. Because just by looking at it, the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x, if we didn't graph it, we can be fooled in thinking that, oh, it's defined at an x value 3 and the y value is 5, so the limit is equal to 5. But when we graph it, we see that the y value that it's approaching is different. It's that y value of 2. That's what the limit of the function equals. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.